Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. I hope everybody's day is off to a great start. I'm thankful to be in the land of the living this morning. I'm thankful to be amongst the living this morning. I'm thankful that God woke me up this morning and gave me another chance. Uh, for those of y'all who don't know who I am, I am Grace Amber. I come on uh, different platforms and give words as God gives me words to share. I come on and I give them to other people. So that is who I am. Now I want to jump into this quick word real quick. Today I want to talk about... The value of the word, the value of the word, the value of the word. I want to give you a scripture. Turn with me in your Bibles to 1 Peter, the first chapter, and I want to start at the 24th verse. And it reads, for all people are like grass and all their glory is like the flowers of the field. The grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of the Lord endures forever. Again, for all people are like grass and all their glory is like the flowers of the field. The grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of the Lord endures forever. I want to talk about the value of the word today. Uh, where are you putting your value? What do you uh, perceive as being valuable in your life? A lot of times we will look, we want to we want more money. And the reason why we want more money is because we feel like we'll get more respect, more respect from who? From people. A lot of times we want uh, to go on our job and we want to bootlick and, and suck up to the boss because we want respect. We want clout in the workplace. We want value in the workplace. We put our stock into people. We want the respect of the boss. We want value from the boss. But here's the problem is that when we put all of our stock into these people, when we put all of our stock into our mates, when we put all of our stock into our children, when we put all of our stock into our parents, when we put all of our stock into our neighbors, when we put all of our stock into our bosses, when we put all of our stock and all these different places and people and things, when we do that, right, we are neglecting the most valuable thing. We are, re we are neglecting God, right? There is value in the word. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. Okay. And so what we do when we neglect God, when we prioritize other people, when we prioritize our family, when we prioritize our friends, when we prioritize our mates, when we prioritize anybody other than God, we are choosing to neglect God. And in neglecting God, we are neglecting ourselves. And how are we doing that? Because we are putting stock in things that are temporary and we are neglecting the necessary things that are eternal. What is eternal is the word of God. In the beginning was the word, the word was with God and the word was God. And so when we neglect what is solid, when we neglect who is solid, when we neglect those things and choose to put our job, our boss, our mates, our children, our parents, our siblings, our family, whatever it is, when we choose to put those things on pedestals and then we choose to neglect God, what we are actually doing is harming ourselves because we are putting our stock in something that is going to fold uh, at a time that we don't know. But one thing is for sure, the scripture just told you that all people are like grass and all their glory is like the flowers of the field. The grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of the Lord endures forever. So when we put our stock in the things that will eventually wither and fall, when we put our stock in that, right? What happens when these things wither? We go right down with it because we have put all of our value, all of our valuable belongings. We have put all of our stock. We have put our pearls right? And things that will fall at any given moment. And so my word for you today is to make sure that we don't lose the value of the word. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. That is solid. Everything else is temporary. Everything else is not eternal, but we have to make sure that we don't devalue the word of God because that was in the beginning and God is the beginning and the end. He is Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. And so we have to make sure that we put our stock in something that is solid. We have to make sure that we don't neglect our relationship with God. We have to make sure that we don't put God second. Make sure that we are always putting him first because that is what has value. These people, your boss, your children, bless their heart. We love them. Your parents, your family, your neighbors, your mates, everybody else. These are important people and we are called to love them and we should love them and they have value, but none of them touch the value of God in his word. 
That is my quick word for you today. Make sure that you are not neglecting uh, God and his word and putting him second to anything because anything other than God and his word is temporary, but God and his word is eternal. He was here in the beginning. His word was here in the beginning. And guess what? He was here in the beginning and he's also here in the end. He is uh, all, everything in between, the beginning and the end and everything in between. Make sure that you put him and his word as a priority in your life so that you don't find yourself caught like a deer uh, in the headlights when the people that you have put your stock in, the places that you have put your stock in, the things that you have put your stock in when they fall, make sure that you have your stock in something that is solid. Make sure that you make God the head of your life. Make sure that you always put him first because he is the beginning and the end and he will be there in the beginning and he will be there in the end. I love you. I am Grace Amber. I'll be right back home with another word.